So Obama proposes a budget. It's not enough what he's done to my country. It's not enough that he's tearing it, tearing at the very fabric of this country. He's proposed a budget today. And you know what this budget will do? It will increase the national debt. Forget about the entitlements. Forget about the entitlements. We're talking about the operating budget. We're not even talking about the entitlements. He's going to increase it. He says over 10 years, from $8 trillion to $15.4 trillion. Ladies and gentlemen, look at your children, for God's sakes. Look at your grandchildren and ask yourself if that damn bridge they're building in God knows where is really worth it. Ask yourself if subsidizing these loathsome human beings at Acorn, which your children are going to pay for for the next 50 years, is really worth it. Ask yourself if weatherizing the Department of Agriculture, which your children are going to pay for for the next 50 years, is really worth it. I say it's not worth one damn penny. Fifteen point four trillion on top of all the bailouts, on top of all the cash going out the back door of the Federal Reserve, on top of it all. This is the operating budget. So the Republican leader in the House, John Boehner and his staff, put out some statistics on this. The administration's projected budget deficit of one point seven trillion uh, seven point five trillion. That's for one year. For one year. is higher than the last five years combined. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're in a recession. We've had many recessions before. This is utterly and completely unnecessary. This is not about addressing job losses. This is about doing things that are so foreign to this country. That are so un-American. Yes, I said it! That are so contemptible. In the name of creating jobs. It's so outrageous. And he's not creating jobs. He's killing jobs. He's killing business. And he's killing one industry at a time. Now listen to what Obama has proposed. And by the way, this is what passes as compassion. This is compassion, ladies and gentlemen. Sticking it to the little kids. Sticking it to people who actually earn an income and work hard. He wants you to believe he's looking out for you. He's screwing you. And while it was purported to cut the budget deficit in half from $1.75 trillion this year to $533 billion in 2013, it projects, it actually projects higher deficits in 2014, 2015, and 2016. In 2019, the final year highlighted in the budget, the deficit is projected to be $712 billion. It goes on and on and on. And then we have massive interest payments on the debt. It's a double whammy. Well, Mark, 2019 is so far away. We're in, it's 10 years away. 